Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to another Curses Get one, and it's Wormholes Explained Breaking Space Time. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I mean, space videos I always say are the ones that I enjoy the most, or one of the most, because they're just, there's so many new possibilities to learn about, etc. But with Wormholes, from what I know, they're just the, I don't even know if they're necessarily real. I saw a comment saying like they're proven to be real, like mathematically or scientifically or whatever. So they are out there and they can do the things that they do, which is teleport, not teleport you. You can travel from one point to another point, but you sort of get to that point quicker. I guess that's how that, that's how it works, I'm pretty sure. But um, yeah, man, I'm pretty um, unknowledgeable, as you probably know. Is that even a word? I don't know. Um, on wormholes and space in general. And I mean, just the more videos I see, the more I, I enjoy it, really. But yeah, we're just going to check this one out, to be honest. I don't know reaction to... Um, black hole um, comparison sizes by this channel and people seem to enjoy that reaction so I'm, I'm going to try to do more but yeah man let's just jump into the shout out to my Instagram and Twitter link in the description for those interested in following same for my Patreon links were there for those interested in following so fine that not following a lot of Patreon exclusive videos and stuff but let's just check this one out it would appear round spherical if you saw a wormhole in reality it would appear round spherical a bit like a black hole Light from the other side passes through and gives you a window to a faraway place. Once crossed, the other side comes fully into view, with your old home now receding into that shimmering spherical window. But are wormholes real, or are they just magic disguised as physics and maths? That's what I think, man. Like, I don't know how a lot of these things that are the like black holes as well are just all proven to be real. I mean, I know they are. I know they are. But the idea of them is just so crazy. I just can't believe that they're real 100% I, obviously I, I believe they are real but there's just a part of me you're always saying like how is this even possible this doesn't make sense none of these things make sense explain it to me and hopefully with this we're gonna actually see man I really if they are real how out. do they work and where can we find them how big are they are For most of human history, we thought space was pretty simple. A big, flat stage where the events of the universe unfold. Even if you take down the set of planets and stars, there's still something left. That empty stage is space, and it exists. Unchanging and eternal. Einstein's theory of relativity changed that. It says that space and time make up that stage together, and they aren't the same everywhere. The things on the stage can affect the stage itself, stretching and warping it. If the old stage was like unmoving hardwood, Einstein's stage is more like a waterbed. This kind of elastic space can be bent and maybe even torn and patched together, which could make wormholes possible. Let's see what that would look like in 2D. Our universe is like a big flat sheet. Bent in just the right way, wormholes could connect two very, very distant spots with a short bridge. Look, I just don't get, like, how... I mean, this makes sense. This does actually make a lot of sense, to be honest, like, how it curves. But with me, like, I'm just thinking of space just literally being an all-open space. So why would you have to go all the way around here? Why can't you just go, like, this way anyway? I guess maybe there's... That's just not how space is, it's not how it's shaped and stuff. Or there's things that are blocking it, maybe like the stars, maybe it's too hot in this area. I don't I don't really know. I guess space is just shaped like this, right? That you could way. cross almost instantaneously, enabling you to travel the universe even faster than the speed of light. So where can we find a wormhole? Presently, only on paper. General relativity says they might be possible, but that doesn't mean they have to exist. General relativity is a mathematical theory. It's a set of equations that have many possible answers, but not all maths describes reality. I can't believe how powerful maths actually is. You can literally just make all, find all these things out, discover new things like this. It's crazy how maths can do this. I mean, maths was a man, it was maths because, well, it's a man-made thing, but it's, well, it is, because obviously man had to make, but like obviously maths in the sort of degree of like how they're figuring it out was obviously, I don't know, like, it's a manly thing to like, sort of figure these things out, but it's obviously also, I guess, it's just, I don't know, I don't know how to say it. Because all these things, these equations are how we find these things out. 
So before, these equations would have found the same things out, I guess, but they, the equations weren't there. I don't really know what I'm saying. <laughs> but they are theoretically possible, and there are different kinds. The first kind of wormholes to be theorized were Einstein-Rosen bridges. They describe every black hole as a sort of portal to an infinite parallel universe. Let's try to picture them in 2D again. Empty space-time is flat, but curved by objects on it. If we compress that object, space-time gets more curved around it. Eventually, space-time becomes so warped that it has no choice but to collapse into a black hole. A one-way barrier forms, the event horizon, which anything can enter, but nothing can escape, trapped forever at the singularity at its core. But maybe there is no singularity here. One possibility is that the other side of the event horizon looks a bit like our universe again, but mirrored upside down, where time runs backwards. In our universe, things fall into the black hole. In the parallel universe with backwards time, the mirror black hole is spewing things out a bit like a Big Bang. This is called a white hole. Unfortunately, Einstein-Rosen bridges can't actually be crossed. It takes an infinite amount of time to cross over to the opposite universe and they crimp shut in the middle. If you go into a black hole, you won't become the stuff coming out of the white hole. You'll only become dead. So, to travel the cosmos in the blink of an eye, humans need a different kind of wormhole, a traversable wormhole. If string theory, or one of its variations, is the correct description of our universe, then we could be lucky, and our universe might even have a tangled web of countless wormholes already. <laughs> what the f Just the idea of this is so crazy to me, man. I imagine like in a thousand, year t a thousand years time, I don't know, that's very soon, a hundred, hundred thousand years time, we've sort of figured out the real, we, we've sort of sent people off. One person goes in this wormhole, one person goes in that wormhole, and there's a little point where they just cross each other. Like obviously, obviously they wouldn't see, but it's just, I don't know, I don't even know what I'm saying, because they're not even going to be this close, but I don't know, it's, just, it's kind of crazy, man. I don't even know what I'm saying. Shortly after the Big Bang, quantum fluctuations in the universe at the smallest scales, far, far smaller than an atom, may have created many, many traversable wormholes. Threaded through them are strings, called cosmic strings. In the first billionth of a trillionth of a second after the Big Bang, the ends of these tiny, tiny wormholes were pulled light years apart, scattering them through the universe. If wormholes were made in the early universe, whether with cosmic strings or some other way, they could be all over, just waiting to be discovered. One might even be closer than we realize. From the outside, black holes and wormholes can look very similar, leading some physicists to suggest the supermassive black holes in the center of galaxies are actually wormholes. It will be very hard to go all the way to the center of the Milky Way to find out, though, but that's okay. There might be an equally extremely hard way to get our hands on a wormhole. We could try to make one. What? To be traversable and useful, there are a few properties we want a wormhole to have. First, it must obviously connect two distant parts of space-time, like your bedroom and the bathroom, or Earth and Jupiter. Second, it should not contain any event horizons, which would block two-way travel. Third, it should be sufficiently sized so that the gravitational forces don't kill human travelers. The biggest problem we have to solve is keeping our wormholes open. No matter how we make wormholes, so gravity weird, tries man. to close them. That's gravity so wants to pinch... Bro, this thought just baffles me, man. Obviously... Obviously, I don't know if this would actually be how it would be. But like the fact that you could have like it's, like you can come here just from jumping through here, it's just so weird to me. But again, maths is there. It probably has proven that this kind of stuff is possible. No matter how we make wormholes, gravity tries to close them. Gravity wants to pinch it closed and cut the bridge, leaving only black holes at the ends. Whether it's a traversable wormhole with both ends and ours, or a wormhole to another universe, it will try to close unless we have something propping it open. For very old string theory wormholes, that's the cosmic string's job. For man-made wormholes, we need a new ingredient. Exotic matter. 
This isn't anything like we find on Earth or even antimatter. It's something totally new and different and exciting with crazy properties like nothing that's ever been seen before. Exotic matter is stuff that has negative mass. Positive mass, like people and planets and everything else in the universe, is attractive because of gravity. But negative mass would be repulsive. It would push you away. This makes a kind of anti-gravity that props open our wormholes. And exotic matter must exert enormous pressure to push space-time open, greater even than the pressure at the centers of neutron stars. With exotic matter, we could weave space-time however we see fit. We may even have a candidate for this exotic matter, the vacuum of space itself. Quantum fluctuations in empty space are constantly creating pairs of particles and antiparticles, only for them to be annihilated an instant later. The vacuum of space is boiling with them, and we can already manipulate them to produce an effect similar to the negative mass we're looking for. We could use this to stabilize our wormholes. Once we're keeping it open, the ends would start together, so we'd have to move them around to interesting places. We could start by wiring the solar system, leaving one end of each wormhole in orbit around the Earth. We could fling others into deep space. What? The Earth could be a wormhole hub for a vast interstellar human civilization, spread over light years, but only a wormhole away. God, However, what? wormholes have a dark side. Even opening a single wormhole kind of breaks the universe in fundamental ways, potentially creating time travel paradoxes and violating the causal structure of the universe. Many scientists think that this not only means they should be impossible to make, but that it's impossible for them to exist at all. So for now, we only know that wormholes exist in our hearts and on paper in the form of equations. We know you want to know more about universe oh, stuff, no, so we're trying how can equations make you find out, like, make, like, how can you come to the conclusions that these are real for equations? I'm not saying they're not, but like, how, what equations are you doing? Like, how's algebra, algebra a bit of bid mass gonna lead you to finding out that there, like, there's such thing as a wormhole? It's crazy to me, and they were probably figure, figuring this stuff out 100, 100, 200, 300 years ago, I, I guess, I don't know. Or the, um, the ideas of them were being formed. But man, it's just crazy to me how maths can do this. How smart you have to be to like, like figure all this stuff out, man. It's crazy. But yeah, wormholes, man. I mean, it'd be cool if they were real. I don't fully know, but yeah, with well, space, you can never stop thinking. There could be crazier stuff than that, to be honest. You just don't know. It's 4 a.m. and I can't stop watching Curse Girl. Help. <laughs> you won't be the stuff coming up. You won't be the stuff coming out of a white hole. You will just be dead. Upbeat music. No, you will only become dead. Music. <laughs> As a German who has no accent in English, I really love how he pronounces the curse. I still can't say it. <laughs> how to make a wormhole? You need ten obsidian and flint steel. <laughs> Fuck's sake, man! But yeah, wormholes, crazy, crazy things. If there's any other videos out there that I could see, please suggest them because I'm always down to react to space videos. I just think they're the most enjoyable things to see on YouTube, to be honest. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Until next time, like, subscribe. Peace.